read. Welcome to Log Furniture How To, the most all inclusive site on the net for log and rustic furniture, fixtures, and decor. That's logfurniturehowto.com. Welcome to the San Juan Carpenter YouTube channel. My name is Scott Schaefer, and you might have noticed that the background is a little different than usual. That's because I'm in my basement. Today's video is going to be all about how to assemble a lamp kit. You can get lamp kits like this at your local hardware store. Uh, they're pretty easy to use, pretty simple to put together. I actually order my parts in bulk, and I only buy the parts I need. If you buy the kits at the hardware store, you're going to get a lot of parts that you may not necessarily need, but that's okay. It's better to have more parts than not enough, right? And we're going to start with the yoke. I use uh, four inches. It's a little long though. I think I could probably get away with three inch. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is uh, wrap it with tape. We want about a half an inch sticking out of the log. Wrap the a half an inch or so in the electrical tape. And what the tape's gonna do is protect the threads from uh, the drill when the drill clamps down on it. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna screw it in like it's a bolt. And right up to the tape, I'm going to loosen the chuck, take the drill off, and we're done with the drill. And now we're just going to take the tape off. Alright, tape is off. That's probably the hardest part. And we've got about a half inch showing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to run our wire through it. So to do that with my lamps, because I have a base on here, I'm going to pull off the base. Once I have the base off, you can see this is where my hole goes through the log, and then I have a, a routered uh, channel here for the wire to stick out the back. So to get the wire through, you're just going to bend over the, the bare copper parts and stick it in the hole. And if you make your own log lamps, uh, you will find out that this doesn't always go through. And what I'm hitting right now is actually the, the metal part that I just screwed in. It's not going to go past that. So, what do we do? I have some wire that I'm going to stick through from the top. This this works pretty good, I think. So, the wire that we're using here would be known as a fish tape in the electrical world. All right, so now we're just going to use that to fish our appliance wire through. Okay, and there it is. Now that we have our wire through, we're going to put the collar on, and you can get those collars in a few different sizes. We're also going to put the lock nut on. Now if you have a harp that you're going to put on the lamp, now would be a good time to put the saddle on there um, for the harp before you put the lock nut on there. Alright, we're just going to tighten that down with a pair of channel locks. Okay, and now the socket, or at least the bottom part of the socket, screw that on. And our threads did not get damaged at all, so that went on really easy. Okay, now we're going to wire it. Alright, so just like any other kind of electrical work you do, you're going to have a hot and a neutral. The neutral wire on these whips is the one that has ribs on the side of it. And you can kind of feel with your finger, you can also kind of see the ribs on the side. So that's the neutral, the other one is the hot. On your socket, you have a silver screw and a gold screw. The gold screw is your hot, the, the uh, silver screw is the neutral. So our ribbed wire is going to go to the silver screw. And make sure it stays hooked on there as you tighten it and tighten it down. Now I recommend when you wrap the wire to wrap it uh, clockwise because that's what direction the screw is going to turn. So um, anyway, that's just a little helpful hint for you. All right, so now that we got that on there, um, we're going to pull this tight, okay? And now our socket fits right over the back and forth switch, just like that, okay? So it's really solid. Now I need to put my base back on, so I'm going to cram the wire into my little channel there. Hey, look at that, we're done. 
It's pretty easy. In case you were wondering, this particular lamp is from the Waldo Canyon Collection. The Waldo Canyon Collection is a really cool way to utilize the wood that was burned in the Waldo Canyon fire uh, last June. And uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but Colorado had a lot of forest fires that year um, that were happening all over the state all at the same time. And so anyway, this tree came from, from that burn scar and uh, a portion of the sale of this lamp is going to go to help the firefighters fund. So. It's a really cool um, program that we're doing in uh, conjunction with Log Furniture How To. So please check that out. And uh, if you want one of these lamps, you can just uh, go to our website, uh, sanwancarpentry.com or logfurniturehowto.com to check them out and to purchase one. And you'll know forever and ever what kind of lamp it is because on the bottom we have this really cool brand, Waldo Canyon Collection. So really neat. Um, thing here and I also put little pads on the bottom if you make lamps definitely want to have little pads there all right guys thanks so much for watching please uh, subscribe to the channel and share the videos and like them and stuff I really appreciate that and leave any comments or questions you have below and I will get back to you all right thanks so much see you in the next one the music you heard in this video was performed by Colorado pianist Lacey Black to find out more about Lacey, you can visit her website at laceyblack.net or find her on Facebook.